here we're gonna look at major data structures of a process in Windows. As a matter of fact, everything you see in an operating system is a data structure. For example, the window in which you see this particular presentation, the process which hosts it, and the thread that runs it, all are pieces of memory in well-defined kernel data structures. So here we're gonna look at some of the data structures of a process in Windows as I mentioned. Again what is a process? A set of page table entries arranged more or less like a B tree with a root as CR3. So these page table entries are one of the most important component of a process and the page table entries resides in the physical memory. We won't be looking at that in this particular presentation there are other presentations we have explained this particular page table entries and CR3 etc. We're gonna look at some of the kernel data structures like underscore k process, e process, underscore pep. These are the variables in kernel related to a process which is used for bookkeeping by the kernel. Basically the K process is a field inside E process and it is the first element in the E process structure which also means that if you get a pointer to E process it will be a pointer to K process as well. Although it has a hazard relation we will be treating the structures as different entities due to logical reasons. But we have to understand that in kernel there is only one structure which is E process which has K process inside while in user mode we have the PEB. So this is the entire process virtual address space, the 4 GP address space of a process, say notepad.exe. And that notepad will have a PEB in the user mode, which is the lower 2 GP. So this is the lower 2 GB. The upper 2 GB, which is a kernel, will have two data structures. One is E process and K process. E process and K process are more or less the same concept, except that K process is a little bit more machine dependent. For example, CR3. CR3 is a feature of x86 or Intel architecture. So the instance of CR3 you will see in K process and not in E process directly. On the other hand, PEB is a Windows specific artifact. So you will see a direct pointer from E process to PEB. Process has the base address of the page table entry or the root of the tree which is the CR3 instance and that is pointing to the RAM. So that is going to be a physical address which is pointing to the RAM. So the page table entries are inside the RAM. So this is the page table entries. Virtually everything related to a process can be reached from its e-process structure. So e-process structure is kind of root of everything the one we have seen in the previous slide. And how to reach to this e-process structure? So we have a, a linked list which links all the e-process structures of all the processes running on an operating system. And the head of the list is PS Active Process Head. So it is a kernel global which is a head of the list of e-process structures. 
So one of the things we have to understand here is almost all the process related Windows APIs kernel or user mode one way or the other create access modify or delete these data structures directly or indirectly for example create process as we're going to see in the end of this presentation create process is nothing but creating this data structures we have discussed so we're gonna see a demo so this is a kernel debugger which is attached to a virtual machine which is Windows 8.1 the first command I'm going to execute is nt bang ps active process head so the value inside this address is also a list entry so there are presentations which explains the behavior of list entry structure from me feel free to review that now next we need to get the offset of this particular list entry inside the e process structure for that the command is dt nt bang e process so this is how the e process looks so it's a very big structure so as you can see the k process there's a field of k process and this is the list we are looking at so I will show you the peb as well so this is the peb lot of other information is there in this particular structure mostly undocumented so this is the single most important bookkeeping data structure as far as a process is concerned in Windows. In the bang underscore e process, very important. So to proceed further with the dumping of processes, I'm going to get the offset of this. Basically, I have to reach here of this instance so I have to subtract that offset I have shown this activity in a previous presentation related to DT in WinDebug so this is the process now to walk this list the command is a DT so this is the node in each link and this is the link and I'm interested in one particular field called image file name so I'm not going to dump out all this field so I'm just dumping out image file name image file name starting from this node so this is a node So this is the walk of the list. So once again, what we have done is there is a linked list in Windows kernel which links all the e process structures together. So that linked list is called PS active process head using that global variable we walked that doubly linked list so that is what we have done we dumped out all the processes running in the system underscore k process this is a fairly smaller structure than the e process
so directory base this is a CR3 instance of that particular process probably the most important entity or the field out of all the data structures so this is a pep so pep is the user mode data structure of a process for example it has heap loaded dlls etc so it is the kernel counterpart in the user mode which is the ntdll who is managing this particular data structure so things like loader lock etc heap thread local storage all the user mode things you can find it from here it is also a fairly big data structure so all this has a has an extension command for example bang pep in case of pep bang process in case of e process which will dump down the data structures in a user friendly way for example these are the loaded dlls in this particular process and this is the environment variables we have seen k process e process pep etc so this is what create process does in short so it create the address space which is the page table entry and cr3 etc then the data structures we discussed e process k process pep etc it will set up then map the binary to the address space the code to the address space that is the mapping binary for example if it is notepad it will map notepad or exe then I'll create the primary thread so as I mentioned in previous presentation process is just a space you need thread to execute things so every process has at least one thread so that thread will get created and that thread will be scheduled to execute the instruction inside the mapped binary so the exe file which you are mapping contains the instruction what that process should do so that brings us to the summary we have seen k process e process and pip which are the important data structures in kernel and user mode related to a process also we have seen creating deleting or accessing a process is all about creating accessing or modifying or deleting these data structures that's about the presentation now reviews comments and suggestions i would like to take from one single location so if you don't mind i would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments unfortunately it is not really useful to me if you update the youtube comments as youtube is just one way we publish content now if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training please feel free to follow these links also please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings all services are available online as well as direct classroom training so that's it thank you for watching see you next time